This is the third example of friction problems, and uh, what we have here is uh, look what looks to be like a little, I don't know, just a cable being pulled slightly upwards at a 30 degree angle on this 1,000 pound box, and we want to know what is the force required to pull this box since we're pulling slightly up. So let's just draw quickly a free body diagram just below it. What we realize is we have a thousand pounds here, a thousand pounds straight down. We will have our normal force, and then we'll have this weird force which is going to be off at a 30 degree angle, and then we will have our friction factor, which will also play a nice role in here. One thing that I want you to realize is that the friction factor will equal normal force times the friction factor, and in this case it will be normal force times 0.7. Let's look at each of these. You have sigma f of y, which will equal, first of all, the um, y component, if we were to use the simple x and y, the y component of the f force, which will be positive, so it's f sine 30 degrees, plus normal minus 1,000. This will all equal zero. Okay, well, there's a couple of variables in there. Let's see what we have in the next one. Force in the x direction, we'll find that that is, well, negative force cosine 30 degrees plus the force of friction will equal zero. So one thing that we could say with this is that f sine, or f cosine, excuse me, of 30 degrees will equal the force of friction. One thing that I wanted you to remember from before, right above, is that the force of friction equals normal times 0.7. So, force cosine 30 is equal to 0.7 normal force. So now we have a pretty interesting little layout here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to solve for that normal force. So when I solve for that, it's going to be normal equals F cosine 30 all over 0.7, which will equal 1.237 times the force. Kind of just a little relationship here. And the reason I wanted to do that is because now I'm pulling this from the x. I'm pulling this from um, the x equations. So now I'm going to plug this in to the y equations. So if we go back and we look at the y equations, we have sigma fy is equal to f sine of 30 degrees, which, by the way, this is this is just one half. You should know your trig values now. Plus normal force, as you can see up above. So that would be plus normal force, which is 1.237 times that force, minus 1,000 equals zero. And if you just do the algebra real quick, you get forces 575.65 pounds. Excellent. And that's the force that's required. And you could come, and you could work your way through anywhere by just using these little comparisons. Um, the reason that I wasn't shy about solving for that normal force right in the beginning over here was because I knew that I had two equations, one, two, and two unknowns, which was 
first of all the F and then also the N and it was just a little trick that we did in the beginning up, up here to, to get rid of that uh, force due to friction we made it in terms of normal so that we could just bring it all down to just normal and that applied force so um, 575 pounds pretty good um, realize that just pulling it sideways just pulling it sideways would have been 0.7 of that thousand pounds so it would have been 700 pounds but by pulling it slightly up we are actually taking off a good 125 pounds that we need to pull so kind of interesting um, just a little bit of food for thought and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video leave any comments if you want more content and uh, thanks for watching